This young lady you see here, her name is Cislin Faye Allen. At this time, she was just 29 years old, participating in an accident training session at the Metropolitan Police Training School in London. Cislin is known as being the first black woman police constable in the United Kingdom, serving in the Metropolitan Police in London from 1968 to 1972. Before we tell you more, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up to date when we release new videos. Helen was born in Jamaica in 1939 but worked most of her life in the United Kingdom. She qualified as a state registered nurse and worked at the Queen's Hospital in Croydon, an area in South London. On her lunch break one day while reading the newspaper, she saw a recruitment advert for male and female police officers. Alan had always been interested in the police, possibly due to her being raised by her aunt who was a judge. So she took the paper home with her that evening after finishing work and filled it out once she got home. Surprisingly to her, about two weeks later, she had received a response from the Metropolitan Police asking her to complete and return some additional application forms. After completing the form, Sislin said she wrote that she was a black woman at the bottom of her application. Fearing if she was selected and was invited to meet them in person, they would have objected on the grounds of not knowing she was black. This in itself shows how bad the issue of racial prejudice was in those times. In 1958, London was at the scene of race riots and violence broke out in the Notting Hill area between whites and West Indians. Sisley was successful nonetheless and invited to the final stage of the recruitment process. Sisley remembers that day well, there were so many people there. The hall was filled with young men and there were 10 women and she was the only black person. After taking a set of exams and a stringent medical, Sisley was told she had passed and would start work at Croydon Fell Road Police Station. In an interview she recalled how on the day she joined the force she nearly broke her leg running away from the reporters who had attended the ceremony it was when she realized that she was a history maker but it was not her intention to make history she just wanted a change of direction describing her first day on duty in Croydon as daunting Cicely says her patrol was met with a mixture of stares and people coming up to congratulate her the sight of a young woman of color dressed in a police uniform with a solid Jamaican tone patrolling the streets of South London in 1968 was a shock to the residents and due to the tensions during those times some in the black community were not so welcoming. She also said in the interview many of us have a sort of perception of the police that isn't all good. She was asked how could she leave nursing to join the police force as if it was like joining something degrading. The Metropolitan Police did receive some racial mail but while her bosses told her of the letters she was never showing them. They only gave her the ones of support from the community. After a while, she says the stairs soon part and her colleagues were very accepting and after a year in Croydon, she was posted to the Missing Person Bureau at Scotland Yard. She later transferred to Norby Police Station in 1972 before resigning from the Met and returned to Jamaica with her husband and two children. In Jamaica, she continued her policing and joined the Jamaican Constabulary for several years before she would return to the UK with her family. Cicelyn Allen was an inspiration for many when she became the first black female police officer and described as a pioneer and civil rights icon. In a virtual ceremony held by the College of Policing, National Police Chiefs Council and the National Black Police Association, Sisson Allen was honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award celebrating black, Asian and minority ethnic female officers. Being recognized for her desire to have a career in policing despite the discrimination she suffered, Sisson has since returned to Jamaica again where she now lives. 
speaking in a recent interview with Sky News, Cicelyn said if she could do it all over again, she would. To be able to inspire and help others is one of the best satisfactions. Cicelyn's achievement meant a great deal to many, paving the way for more black females in law enforcement in the United Kingdom. Now this brings an end to another video, as always if you like what we do, please like, comment your thoughts below, share and subscribe. Until next time.